So where do your shoes take you throughout the day? Public bathrooms, stores, restaurants, your car? Oh yeah, and everywhere in between. And how many of you are taking your shoes off when you get home? At uh, the click2vote.com poll today. Do you remove your shoes before going inside? Log on, let us know. Haley's here to tell us all the disgusting things under our feet. <laughs> we want to know. Yeah, well, yeah, it's actually not as bad, probably, as you think. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's good news and bad news here. A University of Pro Houston professor has told me that the human population, cumulative, cumulatively, all of us can walk around the world three times, all of us together, and many of us are not removing our shoes at our front doors. Now, you probably guess it's a gross habit, but really, truly, is there any harm? All day, you're walking in and out of hallways, bathrooms, where you eat and where you sleep. But what are your shoes bringing in with you? Dr. Kevin Gary from the University of Houston is leading research to find out. He started testing the shoes and homes of his own students and of their friends. He even swabbed my shoes and found the majority of tests had relatively harmless germs. But he said a significant number of them were walking around with the bacteria C. diff. When you're at risk, you should be aware of this. Uh, if you're elderly, if you've recently been hospitalized, and this would be then something when you go home, let's clean the house really good because I have an at-risk person coming to the home. He says C. diff does not harm a healthy person, but people with weak immune systems can be ill, even die when exposed to it. So the message is, if you're visiting someone sick or bringing someone home from the hospital, know the bacteria may be present inside your home, your car, and likely on your shoes. He suggests normal cleaning or remove shoes before you visit a vulnerable person. Dr. Gary said places in your home that are most likely to be contaminated are your doorsteps or high traffic areas where you rarely clean. And then as you go into areas that you clean more often, your tabletops, your, your, your toilet, you don't see it as much, ironically enough, uh, because you clean it more often. Now, Dr. Gary said healthy people do not need to live in fear of C. diff. It's just good public health to know where it exists and take these precautions for vulnerable people. But when I asked if he or the students in his study wear their shoes inside anymore, he said no. Oh, wow. He insists that it's not for fear of germs. Sometimes it's a cultural thing, but still the answer is no. They don't wear their shoes in the house. So what did they find on your shoes? Uh, they did find C. diff. Mm. So um, it was, uh, he said about like 30% of his students he tested had C. diff on it. So it's still um, actually a significant number, even though it's a, it's kind of low. Um, and yeah, it was on my shoes. It was in our car that we took there. He tested the wow. car too. Um, and remember that we had done that report a few weeks ago about finding, figuring out which germs are in your car. So C. diff is there. It's, yeah. it's not gonna do anything to us but if we have family members or if we have somebody go into the hospital and come out, just be aware that it can be harmful to them. Oh, for sure. Yikes. Good yeah. to know, but not as bad as we not kind as of imagined. No, right? Yeah. You'd think it's worse. like crawling with things that are going to make you sick. <laughs> really? but so, it wasn't so we can't lick the bottoms bad. of our shoes. Then. No, preferably not. <laughs> We just don't sort of uh, decide not to do that <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs>